Hello everyone, it's Emmy. I am back to eat more food. So today we're eating Massachusetts, which is part of New England, which is an, an area of the United States. So little Miss J sent me this package from Hull Mass. It's located right across the bay from Boston. She said this is her view. Tough life, Miss J. Tough life. Beautiful, beautiful place. Look. Another lighthouse that she gets to wake up to. Thanks to Little Miss J so much for sending me this package. I can't believe how much stuff you sent me. She sent me a whole mix of things, and I'm going to try to focus mostly things that came from Massachusetts. So I had a whoop pie for the first time. It's... Whoa. <laughs> Little Miss J sent me more. So let's try red velvet first. I've never had red velvet before. I believe it's a chocolate cake that's unabashedly been dyed with red food coloring like this. So we can see what's in the middle. Oh my gosh, it looks like a hamburger. <laughs> Here we go. Mmm. Pretty similar to the one that I had before in terms of the frosting taste, about a lot like the Hostess cupcakes. Um, but this actually doesn't taste like chocolate. I don't taste any chocolate, so maybe I'm wrong about the whole red velvet thing. I don't know. It's good, I like it. It's really, really sweet. The frosting has got um, a really sweet flavor. And the cake, I'm not sure. It doesn't really have a vanilla flavor or a chocolate flavor. flavor. Kind of just tastes like a yellow cake, but dyed red. Let's try the double chocolate. <sighs> it smells like chocolate cake. It smells delicious. Here we go. Ready? Mmm. <laughs> That's really good too. That one tastes very, very chocolatey. Ding dong. It's delicious. Ding dongs were those cakes that have the chocolate on the outside and the white cream in the middle and they're rolled into a roll. It tastes more like that to me because there's more chocolate, even though that was a white cream in a ding dong. Really good. Really sweet, but yummy. This one is the chocolate chip with pie. These are all made by Stephen Snacks, by the way. It's cute. It looks like a little hamburger with a little face. This one smells like yellow cake. Here we go. Takimas. Mmm. Mm hmm. This one actually tastes similar to the red velvet cake. The cake tastes very similar. And the cream seems to be very similar. Kind of a sweet powdered sugar frosting. But this one is flecked with little tiny, tiny chocolate chips. Cute. I think of those three, I like the chocolate chocolate, the one best. Look at this. So besides that, she sent me a whole nother box of whoopie pies. There we go. These are a little bit smaller than the Stevens Bakery ones. Oh, it smells delicious. It smells chocolatey and wonderful. So let's try it. Here we go. Mmm. They're called pies, but they're very much cake kind of like the top of a muffin cake with this really sweet frosting in the middle. This one's a little bit different in texture, a little bit chewier in texture, and not as intensely chocolate, but just as delicious. Very, very similar to the one that I had from Vermont. This is a classic Massachusetts candy. It's called Neko. It even says American Classic on it. That's what they look like. They're rainbow candies. And this is the company that makes conversation hearts. You know those Valentine hearts that say, I heart you, I love you, or call me, or kiss me? Same company, and actually the same candy. Each wafer is embossed with the name Neko. Very cute. Hmm. Of course, the first one I get, it's like anise, like licorice flavor. They're very hard and very, very sweet. They're basically a a solid wafer of sugar. I don't actually like them very much. <laughs> I find them really sweet and um, I don't really like the flavors, but they're old-timey and old-fashioned. This is another version of Necco wafers. This is the chocolate version. They're almost like coins, like a roll of quarters or something. And again, stamped with Necco. Same very brittle, chalky texture and flavor. Very, very subtly chocolate. If anything, you taste a lot of sugar. Again, not my favorite, but you know, for old timey's sake, I think it's really charming and cute. 
and I think these too would make excellent roof tiles for a gingerbread house. This is another classic and very regional as well. Boston baked beans. So Boston baked beans is a traditional bean dish that's cooked in a pot like this with molasses and sugar and they're quite sweet. Cooked for a long time until the beans are really tender. So I don't know why this candy is called this or what its relationship to that dish is. Maybe one of you guys can tell me. Yeah, they have this beautiful sienna color and they're really shiny. And what they are are candied peanuts. So I'll open one and show you what's inside. Ah, oh, so hard. There you go. They're really good. Really sweet because they've got the candy coating on the outside. Really thick. A little bit caramelized. They're delicious. Just think of an M&M peanut M&M without the chocolate. This is very similar to the candy peanuts that I had from Madagascar, but these are have a thicker candy shell than those ones, um, but very similar. And those ones were really brightly colored, and these ones are supposed to look like the baked beans. It's called the Goldenberg's Original Peanut Chew since 1917. This is kind of in the, in the vein of like an old-timey American candy. Oh, look! They come like little soldiers. How cute! All lined up in a row. It smells great of chocolate. Mmm. That's yummy. Mmm. Really great peanut flavor. Really toasted, nutty, peanutty flavor. Coated in chocolate and then wrapped in a really nice, chewy, soft caramel. Delicious, but really strong peanut flavor. This is really cute. It's called Fizzies, Instant Sparkling Tabs. So by the looks of it, this is very reminiscent of the candy that I had in Germany, my Germany Part 3. I'll go, again, I'll put the link down below. Hoi Brasa, it was a candy uh, that I ate just as a block, blocken, because I thought that's how you were supposed to eat it. But I was told by many, many people that I was supposed to dissolve it in water and make a lemonade. Well, I didn't know. It didn't come with instructions. So this one does come with instructions that I can read, at least. And look, it looks like Alka-Seltzer. And it's also like the candy beer that I had. It has a tablet, very lemony, and drop it in some water. Ah, and immediately it starts to fizz. It's fizzing like violently. Can you see that? Come by. Mmm, it's good. I almost swallowed the tablet. Did you see that? So that's a lot of fun. It's fizzy and lemony and kind of reminds me of like Crystal Light or something or, or uh, Kool-Aid lemonade. It's called Clark's Tea Berry. Again, this is like an old-fashioned American candy gum. There's a stick, and it's wrapped in paper. It's this really beautiful pink color, and it smells like menthol. All right, let's try it. Here we go. Mmm. I actually like that. It's like a cross between spearmint and wintergreen. Yeah, when you first smell it, it smells like a... An analgesic. It smells like something that you you would put on a bruise or you know, a sore back. Very mentholated, but it's actually quite good. I like it a lot. Cranberry bog frogs. How adorable. These are cape, made with Cape Cod cranberries. Cranberries are really popular around here, especially around Thanksgiving. They grow in bogs and bogs are flooded and they float to the top and they're harvested. They're really beautiful. But there's a dried one on top and let's see what's inside. Mmm. Oh, man. Mmm. That is out of sight. Coated walnuts, and you have a caramel filling in the middle that's very soft, not at all chewy, and very buttery. Delicious. And you've got that dried cranberry on top, which adds a little bit of sourness. So good. So, so good. It's like something that you would get out of a candy shop. This is another Massachusetts candy called a Sky Bar. I guess there's four different fillings inside. Caramel, vanilla, peanut, and fudge. I love the packaging though. So cool and retro. <laughs> I love it. Look how cute. Isn't that beautiful? What a cool candy bar. It feels very 1920s or something. Mmm. That's peanut butter. More of like a liquid caramel, but peanut butter. Very good. Let's try another bite. Mmm. That's just a caramel. Like a caramello. Slightly salty. 
Hmm. That's the vanilla. Without looking at it, I don't know if I would know it's vanilla. It's got a slightly different consistency inside, a little bit chewier. And the last one. I think that one's a chocolate fudge one. Very, very sweet. I think I actually like that one the least. I think my favorite one might be the peanut butter one. Little Miss J, you've totally outdone yourself. This is like a great package of Massachusetts and kind of like traditional American nostalgia. Well done. Nam Pelliels, but it's just a thin wafer of candy, of chocolate, and then it's topped with these little beads of candy. It's so cute. All right, let's try it. Here we go. Mmm! Boy, that's really fun. It's actually dark chocolate, which is great. Not as sweet, a little bit bitter, and it's got these great topping of candies on top that make a delicious and delightful crunch. Did you hear that? It was like crunch, crunch, crunch. This is like a pound and a quarter of saltwater taffy. They're all peppermint. I'm in saltwater taffy heaven. This is the flavor that I love the best. I love the coloring. Mmm. So good. As you can see, it's very chewy and soft. It's almost like gum in its level of chewiness, but it's nice and fluffy and pepperminty. I love peppermint. So I've never had a Clark bar before. It smells like a Butterfinger. Mmm. Mm-hmm. It's almost identical to a Butterfinger. Look at that. So inside is filled with these really, really thin layers of very crisp, peanut buttery infused like cookie, I guess. I don't know what you call it. Candy. So as you bite it, it kind of flakes and crunches in your mouth. But when you eat phyllo dough, it's kind of like that. Check out this. She sent me this really cute gag gift. A rattlesnake container. You take this little piece that's inside and you wind it up. And then you insert it into the envelope. And then you say, look, have some rattlesnake eggs. And then they open it. <laughs> it does that. There's a rattlesnake inside. So she also sent me these chocolate and gummy aids. Look at those. They're like band-aids, but they're candy. Milk chocolate for life's boo-boos. Mm. Very, very cute. Look, it even has the band-aid texture on it. Look. Mmm. <sighs> really good. It's like a Hershey bar, but in the form of a band-aid. How adorable. Here are the gummy ones. These ones are not individually wrapped. These ones are equally cute. Again, textured. It smells like that nondescript gummy fruit flavor. Let's see if it tastes like lemon. Whoa! Really soft. Not really like a gummy at all. More like a, like a jujube. I think my gut is officially busted. <laughs> Thank you so much, Little Miss J, for sending me such a great package, chocked full of so many great regional and American treats. I had a lot of fun eating it, and now my tummy is officially busted. And thank you guys so much for watching. I wouldn't be here without you. Don't forget to do all that good stuff down there, and I'll see you in my next video. Cheers, bye! <laughs>